Woo, 2K, coming to my office. We got to have this conversation. And I want your honest opinion on this. And I want you all to remove all your bias. I know a lot of us have bias, whereas we next gen or, or current gen and last gen should not. We got a lot of biases, but we got to be fair at the end of the day, man. So let's get to the video. You want 2K rumors and news? You in the right place. Want a community that's cool? You in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation. We all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi. So you're done, no. Your boy Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked and mean, with a next video for y'all, man. So y'all know what it is by now. Take some time out, bless up your boy, like up the video, definitely help the channel out, because you know your boy gonna always put y'all up on game and keep y'all up to date on everything in the 2K community. And you know we gotta start the video off the right way by giving a huge shout out to the Bruce Squad. Anyone y'all got a notification bell unlocked, come to the comment section, type first, second, third, know the gang of Bruce Squad. I gotta put y'all up there just to show y'all some love y'all much love much respect now this conversation started with a tweet from lock tv now he put forward a nice little list of you know things that 2k gotta do if they want nba 2k24 to be one of the greatest okay now it's a nice little list of course and we're gonna cover it real quick and one thing stood out more than ever to me personally. And a conversation that definitely needed to be had. But anyways, let's get to the list. He said, add back rookie to legend rep. Bring back parks. Said both is repetitive and dry. The city is too big. We're trying to play 2K, not GTA. And I think a reason why 2K really went the route of the city is because they see the success of open world in the GTA, to be honest with y'all. I think 2K really think that's the future of gaming, bigger, more realistic type environments being kind of included in games. And I think right now they're just doubling and tripling down. Let me know what y'all think. He said, add cross-platform. He said, make NBA 2K 24 one game and that's the one we will elaborate on in a little bit he said better gameplay that's kind of broad he said new build system 2k usually make some adjustment with the build system every year also lower vc prices they're probably not going to do that he said add rank mode for competitive players makes sense bring back high rollers lower Close VC course. I don't care about it. They, that's the one they could probably put up for me personally. They need to get rid of the boost. But we want to talk about that in a different video. Bring back the old style rec center. It means an open gym where people could walk around. I do not agree with that at all. We need to leave it full matchmaking like it is. Trust me, we don't need to go backwards. Forward ever, backward never. Fix only greens going in. Adjust so a tiny amount of whites go in also. Ooh, you want whites to come back? <laughs> I don't need y'all. We're not going to talk about that right now. But I need y'all talking about whites coming back. Y'all complain all year about only greens going in. So I do not want to hear a tiny amount of whites going in. I do not want it. All right. So let's continue on. Now, we got a few responses, of course. Now, I'd say something that really stood out to me right here, right? He said, 2K24 should hands down be one game with the next-gen version just having better graphics. I feel like when 2K heard the compatibility next-gen consoles had, they tried to go above and beyond with the open-world stuff and completely forgot we're playing a basketball game. And then he put a lot of laughing, crying emojis. Now, Jay Grant then asked, Look, so you want 24 to be only next gen? Because this is a question that I have to ask as well. I hear a lot of people in the community always saying 2K need one game, one game. So we got to just leave the last generation behind. That is a question. Some people will say, drop a hard stern, yes. Me on the next hand, I don't believe 2K necessarily have to, right? And we're going to get into that in a little bit. Now, Locke said, no, next gen and current gen should be combined. 
into one why split the community and then this person got offended and was like yo big bro it's current gen and last gen i hate when people get offended by that man shut up who cares nobody cares all right nobody cares so y'all know what we're talking about case closed class dismissed it's like it's like an elitist thing i got the i got current i got the current generation y'all are still in last. shut up anyways <laughs> yeah it's always it's it's, an, it's something that really um grind my gears but anyways what we're going back is to what odd said he said 2k24 should hands down be one game with next gen version just having better graphics and this is something that i think 2k should have done in the first place right when you look at all the other games all the other games like call of duty like damn near any other game that you know dropped since the next gen consoles you know became a thing all the other games they decided to drop one game across both generations with the one on next gen having better graphics and better frame rate and probably you know ray tracing and all that extra fancy stuff to make the game look way better but overall that's the major change these are basically compact pcs that are just for gaming what happens in the pc world because i'm a pc gamer and to be honest with y'all, I really believe these next-gen consoles did not deliver on their promise <laughs> because I'm yet to be wowed by any next-gen game. Maybe because I've been a PC game for some years now, right? What I was expecting was something to really wow me. And so far, I'm like, not necessarily, okay. But what happens when a stronger PC play against a weaker PC? When let's look at a game like Call of Duty, right? What happens is my stronger PC is able to push 4K with ray tracing and all that fancy stuff and look amazing while pushing probably 100 or up to 200 frames per second. So it will run way smoother, right? So you do have a slight competitive advantage, of course, but the game just looks way better. Versus a cheaper computer, you might have to push a 1080p with 60 frames or something like that with a let's say a 500 dollar pc versus so that's my pc that worth probably like a few thousands versus a 500 to 800 dollar pc push a 1080p maybe even more than that now with like 60 frames but you could still compete and you still could enjoy the game and so there isn't a separation between games like call of duty and a long list of games I think it's the same thing that 2K could have done with the next gen. They wanted to make such a huge splash. And I think one of the biggest marketing things for, for them was like, yo, we got the next gen. We're going to bring forward this huge city because you see how GTA is going, man. Y'all see the success of GTA. And I think right now they are forced to double down and triple down because let's be honest, when NBA 2K21 launched, they were saying that you can't get the builder. The builder system wouldn't be able to work across generations. And then 2K23 dropped and we saw pretty much the same builder system across generations with a few different changes. I think one was the takeover system. And the next one was the bad system. So these are two very small things that they decide to leave unique or separated or different between generations and of course the city versus the boat right but i think now i i gotta be honest gotta put the, this caveat out there i am not a developer i'm just going based on experience okay and me being a gamer across the board even grand Te gran turismo is cross generation and the one on the older generation is just a little bit dumbed down. Now, again, I am not a developer, but what I see across the board when it comes to the gaming and gaming community is people are creating one game and all they're doing is dumbing down the graphics and the frame rates. And they're leaving out a few features like ray tracing and that all, type, all that extra fancy stuff to make the game look much sharper and better. They're just leaving stuff like that out, but they're still able to have one game across generation i'm damn near almost certain that they could do something like that <laughs> i'm almost damn near certain but will they do it 
I don't know, man. So there are a few options going forward. Of course, one is continue to drop two games, which I think is what they will do. Next one is completely leave Last Generation behind and stop dropping that game and just, you know, working towards the current gen or next gen version of the game. The next one is just drop one game across the board and dumb down in terms of graphics and frame rate what is being put on last gen and i think that's the best solution but will they do it i have no idea because you know the last few years 2k hired a whole new team to work on the last generation consoles right and to me that is energy being spent somewhere that it shouldn't when they could spend it on one game now that's just my opinion of course you don't have to agree you could disagree and that would be all right this is an opinion everybody got one but let me know what y'all think about this conversation that need to be had sooner or later man but anyways man y'all know what is your boy sim first time to the channel like share subscribe have a blessed one be safe out there y'all peace